Hello everyone, this is Colin from Fiber Optics for Sale company. In this video, I'm going to explain what is an EDFA amplifier and what is its application. So let's get started. Simply put, EDFA stands for Erbium Doped Fiber Amplifier, and it is one type of many different optical amplifiers. When an optical signal is transmitted over a long distance, such as from New York to San Francisco, the optical signal has to be amplified many times in between. This is because of signal loss from fiber attenuation, connector losses, fiber splice losses, etc. Before optical amplifier was invented, the optical signal had to be first converted to electrical signal, amplified, and then converted back to optic signal again. This process was very complicated and expensive. Then, optical amplifiers such as EDFA were invented. Optical amplifiers amplify an optical signal directly, without the need to first convert it to an electrical signal. This process is significantly cheaper and started the fiber optic revolution. Now let's take a close look at how EDFA works. The top left picture shows a simple diagram of how EDFA works. The optic signal, such as a 1550 nanometer signal enters EDFA from the input. The 1550 nanometer signal is combined with a 918 nanometer pump laser with a WDM device. The signal and the pump laser pass through a lens of fiber doped with erbium ions. The 1550 nanometer signal is amplified through interaction with the doping erbium ions. This erbium iron interaction process is shown as the right picture. The 918 nanometer pump laser excites erbium ions from lower energy level 1 into a higher energy level 3. From level 3, the erbium ions rapidly decay to level 2. From level 2, the erbium ions interacts with 15-50 nanometer signal and jumps back to lower energy level 1. In this process, it emits a 15-50 nanometer photon. This process is called stimulated emission. EDFA actually has an amplification window. It is the range of optical wavelengths for which the amplifier yields a usable gain. This wavelength range is determined by the properties of the dopant ions, the glass structure of the optical fiber, and the wavelength and power of the pump laser. The lower left picture shows a more detailed schematic diagram of EDFA. It is composed of isolators, WDM, erbium doped fiber, 980 nanometer pump laser, and more. So there you have it. I wish you learned a thing or two from this video. We offer many free training tutorials at foforsale.com. Check it out today. I will see you in the next video.